Beware, the 21st century version of Hal might be strolling the halls of the White House right now. Take a look at these names on your screen. Some of the leaders in artificial intelligence technology invading the White House at this very moment for the Artificial Intelligence Summit. And in the past hour, and this just broke, they've already convinced the Trump administration to invest more money in AI development and research, while also crafting policies that help strengthen the economy without displacing jobs, because sometimes we know that happens. Some out there are saying no way, Jose, to AI remaining skeptics of the robots, particularly as it involves, of all things, social media, including our next guest. He's created an app that dodges having to use algorithms for users' news feeds and says, hey, Mark Zuckerberg, take a hint. Newspick CEO Ian Myers is here in a Fox Business exclusive. Why is what you're doing better than involving artificial intelligence? I think we've already seen that artificial intelligence or machine learning or anything like that that has to, uh, as a way of dispersing information, is bad not only for individuals but for the country as a whole, for democracy. What it's doing is narrowing our fields of vision. And it, Liz, I think you went to Berkeley. You know they have a long history of placing importance on broadening our, expanding our horizons and the perspectives we see and the kind of information we get. Yeah. And as we go deeper and deeper down our own rabbit holes, which is when you go to Facebook, they're serving you more and more and more of what you want to see because it keeps you coming back. But it's not adding a lot to the greater conversation. It's interesting that you're sitting here. May I ask how old you are? 27. You're a millennium. So is Mark Zuckerberg. I thought all of you young whippersnappers were thinking this was all great. It has frightened me. So I'm really encouraged that you're saying what you're saying here. And we see that if I click on something and I maybe just want to see what a dress looks like and then I'm not going to buy it it suddenly starts popping up on other websites that I tend to look at, and that right. is annoying me, bothering me, and worrying me. Right. So when you look at your company, how do you want to grow it and, and send a message to the Mark Zuckerbergs of the world that you can be successful and yet not invasive? Well, I think the message is that building a business model that relies entirely on selling consumer data is the wrong way to go. And we're seeing pushback from the consumers on one end, and we're seeing Apple reap the benefits of selling hardware and products rather than selling data on the other. Would you use any artificial intelligence on your um, platform? I think algorithms have use. It can help us discover information. It can help us pull different bits and pieces together. But when it comes to what do we read, what do we trust, it should be by the people we care about, the people we watch on television like yourself, you're in a sense curating what your users and your viewers are looking at. Mm -hmm. You're telling them what's important to know because they trust you. And with algorithms, there's no face, there's no people, there's no honesty and truth in that. Well, the fact that you just said they trust me, you're now my new best friend. Um, <laughs> uh, we just had uh, an executive from MasterCard yesterday, and he illuminated us on some positives of AI. I want our viewers to hear, just in case they missed it, and you can then comment. In our network itself, we're applying artificial intelligence to look at every transaction that flows through. And we can detect fraud patterns that we've never seen before and are able to intervene in real time and stop that from happening. Huh? So we have literally been able to prevent billions of dollars of fraud. Ed McLaughlin of MasterCard is in the White House right now, but when he talked about that, I thought, well, there's a decent application, right? So it can be used for good. Yeah, of course. We should be optimistic about the use cases we have for AI. There are some things that it can really help us uh, do better at, and that's efficiency, that's optimization, pattern requisition across medicine, finance, even trucking and more blue-collar industries. News picks. Tell us what your company does specifically. We are aggregating only premium content from trusted sources and then allowing our users to follow the people that they think are important and relevant. So you can make sure there isn't fake news, Russian bot news, stuff that's uh, meant to distract people that has no, no uh, truth to it? There can, but we focus on creating a community around individuals that are trustworthy and important and, and matter, whether it's colleagues or whether it's Ian Bremmer or, or anybody like that who's or using Liz our Clayman. platform. Or Liz Clayman, who's <laughs> going to be on our platform soon, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> The, the people who put in fake news, they won't get any followers because the community doesn't accept that kind of behavior. So it'll just exist off and avoid to the side. 